your goal. So objectives are specific, measurable, assignable, realistic, timely, and written. So those are objectives. And I've, I've put a little um, mnemonic here for you. Go for G-O-L-G-L Smart W. So L legal, and go, go legal Smart W, if you will. So go is goals and objectives. L-G-A-L is long-term, general, abstract, and lofty. Those are for the G, which is the goals. And then SMART W is specific, measurable, assignable, realistic, um, timely, and written. Um, those are all important steps in achieving your goals. They're the objectives that you measure towards the goal achievement. So step seven is to formulate strategies. Step seven is where the, uh, you basically lay out the roadmap towards how you're going to accomplish uh, the strategic goals and objectives that you've set forth. Strategic options are things that you want to consider. For example, um, the concept here of the roadmap is, are we on our way to Miami because we want to get there quick or do we want to take the most scenic route? That's kind of one of those major strategic choices that you have to make. Kind of a lot of things depend on which, um, you know, all, all of the specific objectives are going to depend upon the, the strategic goal that you set forth. So your roadmap is going to dictate uh, whether or not cost leadership, a differentiation, or a focus strategy is going to work. So cost leadership, that's where you try to position yourself as the best value in the market based upon lowest cost. That's the strategy that Walmart has excelled at. And you have companies like Kmart and Target and others that are trying to be a different sort of Walmart. And they are, of course, nowhere near the size of Walmart. Now, they're large companies and they've done, they've done well, at least Target has. Kmart, I think, is struggling. But they've done a decent job of competing with Walmart. But the problem with taking a price um, approach, the cost leadership approach, is if you're, the, if you're the second lowest price, if you're lower than everybody in the market except for Walmart, what do you, what's your message? Hi, we're the next lowest cost product sales point in the market. We're, we're almost as cheap as Walmart coming by from us. It's not a very sound marketing strategy. So obviously, even if you're going to implement a cost leadership strategy, you're probably going to have to do something like Target does, which is differentiate yourself. Target is a low cost like Walmart, but they try to differentiate themselves by having a better selection and or a higher quality or a unique set of products compared to Walmart. So you won't always find the same thing. Uh, Target gives you a different, um, different set of choices. Um, again, if we're looking at that, that strategy, uh, Whole Foods would be a an example of a company that differentiates itself among, among all other grocery stores as having a unique selection and having better service uh, as well as better, um, you know, a better environment for you to shop in. Those are great stores. Another alternative would be sort of a niche market focus, which a good example of that would be natural foods. So whereas Whole Foods has a lot of natural foods and a little bit of supplements and those kinds of things, nutritional products, specifically not just foods, but nutritional products and supplements. Natural foods grocer is the exact reverse. They have a little bit of food and a lot of supplements. And so they've differentiated themselves in the market by focusing their attention on the supplements and the nutritional products as, as opposed to the grocery. Otherwise,